there are case report studies that have been published showing that Yes, in early stage cognitive decline, you can, in fact, reverse it. Um, there was a series of studies published by a scientist named Dale Bredesen, and he, he has found this. Again, they're not clinically controlled studies. They're case reports, which is just to say you notice what's happening in the patients. But he's very explicit in noting the cognitive improvements, emphasis on improvements, not just the slowing the decay or even stopping it, but actually reversing it um, by, by encouraging the increase of ketones through fasting and low carbohydrate diets, uh, as well as the consumption, not of, he didn't publish a paper on exogenous ketones as a supplement, but rather including medium chain triglycerides in the diet, like coconut oil explicitly. Coconut oil is enriched with a type of fat that is burned at a much, much higher rate than normal fats, like from meat or dairy or, or vegetable oils. Um, these are burned at much higher rates and are, and are thus um, more capable of increasing ketones in the blood uh, quite uh, fairly rapidly. So there are two primary families of ketone supplements that are available. One and the older one and the cheaper one, uh, older meaning it's been on the market for much, much longer, is what's called ketone salts. And then the newer uh, one, the new kid on the block, much more expensive, but significantly more effective, is a, a line of a brand or type rather of ketone called a ketone ester. Um, so the former, the ketone salts are very affordable. They don't increase your ketones as much and they come with the consequence or, or consideration that they have very high levels of well, salt, if you will, these, these molecules like sodium and potassium and magnesium, because you're getting so much calcium and magnesium and potassium that the body just starts excreting it. Yes, in the urine, hopefully not increasing kidney stones, but even in the saliva, making there a noticeable a mineral deposit on the teeth. And then the ketone esters are, have none of those consequences. They're just much more expensive. Is insulin resistance of the brain. The more accurate term would be you have type 2 diabetes and now it's affecting your brain, or even more accurate, you have insulin resistance of your brain. And that is not allowing the brain to get as much glucose as it would normally be taking in you have high insulin and it's not working well. And so those are both, they each represent different points of attack where we have interventions where we try to help the insulin work better, like exercise. And we have interventions where we're trying to lower the insulin, like fasting and low carbohydrate diets. So we can address both of this on either side. So metformin is a drug that I actually give maybe the highest grade to. When it comes to drugs that will improve insulin sensitivity, I put metformin at the top in part because it does work. It does improve insulin sensitivity. Um, and at the same time, it has relatively modest side effects. Every drug has side effects. Metformins, in my view, are more than outweighed by the benefits. And the side effects are generally quite mild, which is why I say that. Um, now, uh, there is, uh, because in, metformin does improve insulin sensitivity, I think it would be warranted in someone who doesn't have obvious signs of type 2 diabetes, but does have obvious signs of cognitive decline or early stage Alzheimer's, I think that would be in anyone's interest in asking. It's also a very cheap drug, um, which I'm always an advocate of. It's off patent. Uh, but using metformin uh, as an effort, as an anti-aging drug, uh, I don't think is warranted in part because of how metformin acts on muscle where we know that in people who take metformin, they literally can't exercise as well. Their aerobic capacity is significantly diminished because the metformin can um, alter, or even dare I say, uh, hurt metabolic function in skeletal muscle. So there's a consideration. And of course, there's no evidence in humans to show that it promotes longevity whatsoever. That's just all speculation. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points. From the website, doctorstotrust.com, you can view the summary notes and share or print the PDF of those notes.